G'day guys, how are you going? Um, we're on a renovation of a bathroom today. Um, came a couple of weeks ago. There's a couple of things that concerned me. Um, so if you've got a house that's you know built in the 70s and sort of early 80s, there's something you need to be aware of um, before you just go rush, rush ahead because if you don't do this, you're gonna end up in a, a lot of grief uh, later on down the track. So yeah, come with me, I'll show you what I'm talking about, thanks. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Uh, back in the day, uh, back in the 70s, 80s, they were allowed to put um, water pipes underneath the slab. That's how they used to run. You just put it in there, under the under the laundry, under the bathroom, and they just tee it all off. But what happens later on down the track? They'd have a bit of rubble that's laying on the on the uh, hot pipe or the cold pipe, and with that expansion and contraction over the years, it would just burst, and then you know the water would just pour out underneath the concrete, and you have to knock up the floor. So. A good thing to, uh, I came out to this job and I, I noticed that the, um, you can see the, the pipes here, how they all go in, into this, uh, into here. That's a, a sign that it's going down into the wall. And this is just on the laundry, okay? So you can see here, the pipes probably come down here and then go under the floor. And that's what I, I, I reckoned uh, when, when I came out to see them. And so I just made the owners aware. I said, look, it's probably a good chance that all the water pipes are under the slab, you know, okay? So you're spending all this money on a new bathroom, and if you don't, you know, get rid of them and, and rerun them or something, uh, be a world of pain later, because you, you drop all this money on this new bathroom and then you gotta knock up your floor later on. And I was right, occasionally, occasionally I'm right. So you can see here, all the water pipes and everything go under the, under the slab here. So these are the two, two pipes. So they're coming out from the laundry side, okay? Then it goes off to the bath, and another line here that goes off to the other side of the bath, the cold side, and then they'll go under and go up to the um, to the bathroom uh, basin that was there, okay? And you can see the other tees off here, that goes down, and then um, that would go over, to the, go over to the shower and that, okay? So what, what I suggested that we do is we get all the pipes, run them up into the ceiling, and then go across the top of the laundry, because eventually after this, they're gonna renovate the laundry. So once that's sorted, um, then, you know, they, when the new laundry gets installed, we can do the same thing, run the pipes up, join it up into the roof, okay? And then, we, you know, we don't have to worry about this anymore. So just today, all we've done is, you can see here, that we've just deleted the pipes off, okay? So these two are, are still live, but everything else here is, is all dead, okay? So we'll go up over the roof and, uh, and, and across. It's also very important to get rid of your um, galvanized waste pipes, because these galvanized waste pipes that you see here, you, know, you have one for the shower, you can even see the outside is rusting a little bit. What happens, they start to rust inwards and they have like little hooks in there, so all the soap and hair and everything get caught and it gets blocked up. So what we're gonna do is, is put a big central um, floor waste in the middle here. Um, there's gonna be a bath across here, so that's gonna go into here, into the floor waste in the middle. And also there's, a, you know, there's gonna be a basin here and that's gonna go in there as well. Okay, and then that, that um, 65 mil pipe's gonna go out, outside and into a, a new connection outside, so it'll be fresh, new floor and everything. Now, um, the tiler said, I, I was encouraging them to get rid of this floor, right? Because this floor is just, back in the day, they just put down the slurry, you know? They'd mix up a bit of slurry. You can see it's only, you know, only about 50, 60 mil thick. That's all the stuff, it's just, it's so brittle, okay? So this whole floor, it's just this stuff, so very easy to take out. You get a sledgehammer, you give that a knock, it goes out. Now the tiler said that he was happy just to leave it in there, but the trouble is how are you gonna connect this new bit of concrete that you're gonna to have to install into the, in, into the old bit? You just, you just can't do it. Normally, if you wanna tie into concrete, uh, if you've got the existing stuff, you drive some you know, 10 mil holes in there, you put some 10 mil Rio bar and you bend it down, and so they can bond in and you put the mesh down, right? So I said to the owner, I said, you don't wanna drop all this money on this new bathroom and then have these hairline cracks popping up later on because the two bits of concrete aren't gonna match, especially if it's so thin and, and it's just rubbish slurry. So you want something decent strong, you know, so if you're gonna do that, so I think he's just gonna knock it out. And then just get the like, concrete taxi in here and, and put it in. So um, you can see over here, um, the layout's gonna have a nice bath here with a grate across here, shower going on onto here, and it's gonna have a diverter and stuff. And this is gonna be this nib wall across here, and then this is where the, um, the, the basin is gonna go. Um, so if you are doing a renovation, just make sure that you, um, that you chat to your plumber about, you know, does he think the pipes are under here? And if it is the case, 
just get them out. Whatever it costs, it's good to get them out because it's going to save you heaps of money in the in the long run. Because I did I did do a quote for a, a lady over near my way, and um, he gave her the quote. It was about six grand for to do all this sort of stuff. And then when I came out, showed her the price. She said, "Oh, the other plumber was only like two and a half grand." And I remember thinking to myself, "What am I doing here? You know, <laughs> how can this guy make the money?" Forget it, well, what a waste of time, you know, sort of stuff. But then when I had a look at his quote, he hadn't mentioned anything about rerunning the pipes up into the ceiling or even replacing the, the galvanised pipes. And then in his quote, he said just to, you know, um, connect onto existing sewer and existing existing uh, pipe work. So he would have been connecting onto all this stuff under the floor. That's, that's all connected to under the floor because, you know, you could easily just, you know, tee onto this pipe here, bring it up and over, and then have your new bath connected in there. But then it's always, it's gonna be under here, un under your brand new bathroom. So, make sure your plumber gets it out, gets it above. Okay, one other thing um, I'll just show you as well is, is how we're getting the, the hot and water, hot and cold water up into the roof. So, I'll show you around here. Okay, all right. So, it's it's as easy as this, guys. It's you got your hot pipe here that we teed in, so that's got to jump across. That's going up. So now we got hot pipe up up in the roof. Cold line joins on here, goes up, and so now once we're up in in the roof, then in the future when the laundry gets gets her renovated, a new couple of lines in the wall there, down down there, and then it can all be just uh, you know redone and, and everything. So from then on, there's no um, no water pipes in the uh, in the floor anymore underneath this this floor. So anyway come back in a couple weeks and I'll show you the progress. Okay, thanks guys, catch you later. G'day guys, how are you going? Um, it's been three or four weeks since the bathroom renovation. They had to wait for the, because they put new concrete floors down because we had to take out the, you know, the galvanized pipe and, and all the copper. I remember all the copper was below the floor and went over to the laundry and stuff like that. So we've, we've taken all that out, put new new drains in and everything, so that's all schmicko now. So I'll just show you how it, how it all worked out here. So we've got the, uh, so the, Basin was, uh, it was a wall hung, so quite difficult to get right because the wall here sort of went back on a bit of an angle, so we had to seal that up. And also because the wall sort of went back this way here, we had to make sure, and, and it's on, on an angle like this, this had to be sort of jimmied across a bit, just enough so you see as you open it, it just, it just misses, you see it's, it's, it's got about, I don't know, five, 10 mil, and then back here it's got nothing. Okay, so we had to make sure that all open is, instead of, you know, putting it in and thinking, oh no, it's not gonna work but it had to be enough to, for just enough of an edge here to, to hang over it, okay? Um, the bath had an overflow on it. We had to seal that in because what the deal was is that the overflow went onto the bottom of the trap, but there was no basin, um, or, you know, sort of bend, bend combo that we could get that could go in there that was sort of shallow enough to go so the bath wouldn't sit on it. So we had to just remove it completely seal it up it doesn't really matter if it you know if you fill the bath up and it overflows it just goes down the shower anyway so it's not the not the end of the world um and then again we could take it, it just had a chrome bath waste um, that was already installed so we just took that out put a nice black one in there so that yeah at least that matched the right and then we could then it gave us that you know 40 mil or whatever bit of room that we could put the normal bend on and so that's got really good fall now so there's a little thing in there um yeah a little cut out stuff so yeah it's all the plumbing sort of worked out pretty cool. One thing, you know, I don't know, it's just a bit of, bit of poor form, a bit of poor uh, tradey work, I think. The tiler um, didn't have any hole saws. I don't think he owned any diamond hole saws. Now, I think it's, I think it's poor form. If, you don't, if you're a tiler and you don't have diamond hole saws, they're not that expensive anymore. We've got sets in each car just for stuff. I don't know, we might use them once a month or something. But you would, as a tiler, you'd use it all the time. And it's so much easier, so much a better job. And look what's... Look what's happened here, like, you know, you can see, you know, you see the corner of what we've had to sort of silicon that in there, you know. Now, if that was a hole saw, um, you know, you, you, you could have got that, got that drilled out. I know it's, you know, it's right on the edge of the tile, but what, what we do is just get a bit of styrofoam or foam, pin it down, and then have a hole, hole in a bit of plywood, and then you can just, so it's rock steady, and then it chops it through, and it's, you know, comes out sweet. Um, even down here, there's a, you see a little little bit of crack uh, down the bottom where they cut it, but this one here has got you know no chance at all. It's just massive holes. So I just left this one here, haven't filled it up with silicon because they hopefully we've noticed that this flange here, if they buy another um, these taps, this flange can come off. Uh, or you know get one that's the same, 
and put it over, you'll still have that little corner showing, but then after that, it, you know, it, it should be all right, but yeah, bit of a show. Um, there was a chip on the bit of a floor here, just there. Looks like there's, there's grout there in, into it, so I think it might have happened beforehand. And this, this sounds a bit, I don't know, they're meant to be like that. And that goes under the wall there, so I hope you can still get them out, but that's one of the things, so. Yeah, and the, the, you know they've put a whole new they've put a whole new concrete floor in here, okay, and they they dropped it down 30 mil uh, from the finish, you know, like the the, uh, the Jarrah flooring, okay, they've, they've dropped it all the way down, so that that was great, with the idea that when the tiler comes, he can get that tile to the same level as your floorboards, you know, that that would be perfect. In my warehouse, when I cut the floor out to put my new disabled bathrooms in and stuff. Um, the guy did it five mil higher because I was putting um, some, that's this lino stuff down. And it's just perfect. There's no, you know, it's just flat as from, from the lino straight down onto the bathrooms. There's no trip hazard in here. Over here, I don't know what, what happened. You can see it's, it's just a, such a shame, you know. See, so it's up this whole way here. It's, it's a sharp tile, it hasn't been, you know, cut. And yeah, you know, I didn't even put one of those edges things on it or whatever, so I'm not sure why it ended up so high just there but yeah you know, just just a little thing like that it's a real shame so if you're engaging a tile just ask the question do you have diamond hole saws like stereo sizes if they say no no we just use an angle grinder that's fine then probably just you know send them on the way so all right hey guys that's it for me today um pass all in they can start probably using it tonight which is good so um oh, i'll just show you the, the pipe outside so Below this here, there's a, a floor waste gully and the, and the bath goes into it and also the basin goes into it out there. And I'll show you, just go through here. Um, so obviously there was copper pipes under here that, that, um, that used to feed the bathroom. Okay, but they're, they're still live. They still feed the bath, feed the laundry, but this is getting replaced soon. And so then when the laundry gets done, um, we'll bring the pipes, you know, we've got pipes going across. So we're gonna um, chase them down the wall and hook onto that. And then all these ones through here, and for the toilet, new line for the toilet, then they'll all, they'll all be um, out, out completely. So, so here's the um, here's our 65 pipe. So that goes down to the center center of the floor there, and goes down into the new DG. So you know, all very easy access to clean in the future and stuff. But that you know, smallest future proof your house. Uh, what we've done today, you know, with the new pipes going over. So yeah, they are sorted. Okay, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.